हेलो फ्रेंड्स क्या हाल है दोस्तों आई एम बैक अगेन विद अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ न्यूज यू कैन यूज दिस इज माय वीकली प्रोग्राम टू ब्रिंग यू करंट अफेयर्स एंड जनरल नॉलेज न्यूज एंड दिस इज एप्लीकेबल टू ऑल डिफेंस एस्पेरेंट्स एन डी ए सी डी एस एफ कैट एनी एंट्री दो प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एस एस बी एंड ऑल्सो फॉर यू पी एस सी एस्पेरेंट्स बिकॉज दिस काइंड ऑफ अ करंट अफेयर्स प्रोग्राम where one week's news is squeezed into a short program is rare to find this week i am covering international news i am covering national news and all the important news is here for you wonderful to see you all this week thank you you can use which is weekly program current affairs program covering news that is required by defense aspirants by upsc aspirants all those who wish to know about general knowledge general awareness or jo government of india mein officer rank mein aana chahte hain unke liye news item hai and uh, i will cover in detail usme se you will know which all are important topics which you need to prepare and of course you can ask me and we can go ahead with this okay so first of all let's see international news theek hai international news not much happened but still i'll cover all the important news that happened uh, globally uh, first thing that happened was the energy crisis in europe energy crisis which we are also facing now in india and initially uh it looks i will cover to india also the coal crisis especially the deficiency of coal uh, you know we have just 3 or 4 days of stock left but it started with europe started with england where the petrol pumps went dry then started with france and other countries where gas prices were shot up and they realized they didn't have sufficient coal to run their uh, electric system reason kya iske piche uh, energy crisis firstly very quick switch over to cleaner energy and they started discarding fossil fuels and coal as a traditional method of generating electricity that happened the season was very dry so there was minuscule production of wind energy so you can't rely so much of wind energy covid effect people were at home use of energy went up and this also has affected the uh, um, uh, supply of gas and other things so gas has become uh, has become costly costly in europe okay so let's see what happens to the energy crisis in europe but as far as india is concerned today the home minister had a meeting and i'll cover come to india part little later the other international news which is good news for india is moody's which is a international rating agency that has upgraded india from negative to stable and it has forecast a gdp growth of 9.3% which is good news for indian economy in the next year however the catch is that it has not upgraded india's investment in india or indian securities which still lies at baa3 which is lowest iska matlab investing in indian bonds or uh, you know expand uh, the borrowings of indian government are still in negative only the uh, one part of our overall rating has been upgraded from negative to stable china taiwan uh, standoff continues and as far as the taiwanese uh, foreign minister is concerned this is the worst in 40 years almost 150 chinese planes in last one week have made incursions into air space of taiwan and there is a danger of a standoff there across the taiwan strait a accidental launch of a missile can lead to a crisis so let's wait and watch and this is related to south china sea jis ki main kafi discuss pehle kar chuka hu and more of this we will discuss as we go along some more of international news afghanistan refuses to get away from news abhi tak kisi ne bhi taliban government ko recognize nahi kiya hai because taliban has not been able to constitute a proper government in afghanistan however latest developments are us has had its first meeting with taliban in doha and this is a meeting held in a professional manner that's what the us says the meeting was held in doha where taliban and us have 
discussed on what kind of aid can us give to taliban secondly uk that is britain has reached out to taliban and they have had a meeting with the taliban regime in kabul as far as china is concerned they are a major player they continue to give aid and they continue to support the taliban government in afghanistan now some good news at the international level finally after years and years of research malaria vaccine has been approved this is a great news that malaria will be fought now and it, the trials were on in africa for last many years 8 lakh children were vaccinated and the vaccine is successful ab kab aayegi india mein bhi aayegi vaccine aur isse millions of chote bacche and young adults will be saved from malaria that's a good news the other news i have is nobel prizes have been declared but i will not talk of others i will only talk of nobel peace prize which is the coveted nobel award this year for the first time it has been given jointly to two journalists two journalists who have been heading independent news organizations against totalitarian regimes world over journalists independent journalists are facing the heat but this year they have been awarded and recognized one is dimitri muratov of ussr who has been fighting totalitarian system in ussr and the other is maria resa from philippines so these two journalists getting nobel peace prize is a good news for independent media now let's come to india first of all india first topic is severe coal crisis okay initially the moments came that the coal minister said ni crisis jyada nahi hai but today the home minister had a discussion with all stakeholders and as far reports are concerned sirf 3 ya 4 din ka koila hamare thermal plants mein hai 135 thermal plants which are supposed to have a reserve stock of 14 days 14 din ka koila hona chahiye thermal plant ke paas it is reduced to 3 to 4 days so please save electricity we could also be in a crisis reason kya hai immense increase in uh, demand for electricity again covid effect people are at home economy is just taking up people are buying more televisions radios uh, you, you know um, microwaves refrigerators and things like that so that has increased there's a huge increase in demand of electricity so i say please save electricity rainfall in the coal belt producing area lasted till uh, september so coal production was low now what the government has done lot of rakes have been moved to ferry coals to these thermal plants so hopefully this crisis will be taken care of now the most interesting news all across last week was pandora's box these are leaks where more than 380 influential indians which includes industrialists cricket players film stars irs officers income tax officers politicians and people who have been convicted by indian law or are fugitives have uh, stashed large amount of money in foreign tax havens pandora's box kyu naam diya gaya because greek mythology mein pandora was the first woman who was handed over a jar not a box box bana 16th century mein usko ek jar diya gaya aur usko bola isko kholna mat and the moment the jar was opened all the evil came out of it isliye kehte hain pandora's box is used in english to say but don't open it pata nahi kya nikal ke aayega so pandora papers are papers which is amazing investigative journalism that is taking place 600 journalists from the world are glancing over 12 million documents 12 million documents hain in india every day it is being covered by indian express and many other newspapers uh, the names of indians only 60 have been revealed the news is 380 so this is related to tax evasion and tax avoid karna avoiding tax so people hire top class lawyers to tell you which are the uh, loopholes in tax policies of the country and they make a gateway for you to park your money abroad where is the money park it's parked in very very small countries uh, british virgin islands bahamas antigua you know morocco very very small countries 
they don't charge any income tax so you can park your money there comfortably what is the modus operandi is one member of a family is generally an nri or gets a foreign passport to uske naam pe others piggy bank on that and the money is stashed abroad to uh, so this is indian money which has gone abroad this is indian wealth which has gone across the shores that is why it's called offshore ki samundar ke paar to is pe abhi kafi kuch aana hai and uh, some great players and film stars and industrialists uh, though so many of them are in jail they have been able to take away lot of money from india so that is pandora's box now coming to what the world is deciding world is deciding upon a global corporate tax is pe baat chit chal rahi hai more than 130 countries on board ki how to ensure people don't use this method of saving tax in their respective countries so by 2023 we will have a global corporate tax which is estimated to be 15% of your income to so big houses industrialists people who make lot of dirty money they can park their money but please pay 15% tax so this will come up probably uh, uh, it will be a way to catch uh, these people and they are 1% of the population uh, who are doing this now what people do Uh, so this is as far as uh, pandora's box and uh, uh, india is concerned 380 indians let's wait and watch or kya hota hai now not good news is from kashmir after a very very peaceful year uh, last year abrogation of 370 situation seemed to calm and quiet and we were talking of naya kashmir and lot of commercial activity business activity schools colleges had opened up tourists were full uh, this summer in kashmir suddenly minority killings have taken place so that means pakistan and its handlers are devising new methods of bringing unrest to the valley we will wait and watch but don't call it exodus of 1990 let's treat it as a criminal activity our intelligence agencies have to get over the situation catch these people who have used pistols to target innocent people from minority community so Uh, this should remain a law and order and a criminal activity and terrorist activity please let's not color it into a communal activity so that was kashmir not very good news that uh, militants or terrorists have now able to infiltrate south of peer punjab area punch rajouri surankot uh, jammu region uh, this uh, kishtwad was peaceful for many years but today we had an encounter where unfortunately one jsu and five other ranks were killed in action on line of duty so that means there is pakistan uh, is up to sending more militants and probably want to create unrest before the winter sets in and snowfall takes place in kashmir so let's wait and watch what happens there again not very good news from ladakh uh, since last year hamara standoff chal raha hai china ke sath many levels of talks have taken place and many agreements also took place things were looking in positive direction however the meeting that was held last night uh, in moldo garrison between indian core commander and the chinese core commander have not been successful so let's wait and watch whether china uh, continues to be belligerent and uh, is ready to agree to indian terms or not we will watch ladakh will remain in news but the sad part for a soldier like me is our troops may have to spend another harsh winter in those heights and winter there is very very bad it is really one of the worst conditions possible and is difficult for but we spent last year i'm sure this year we are better prepared and the resolve of indian army is being tested by the chinese pla the good news from uh, final good news from india is air india has gone back to tatas so tatas have said welcome air india and air india let me tell you was nationalized in 1953 and when it was nationalized air india duniya ki sabse behtareen airline thi sabse behtareen it was number 1 airline of the world and remained so till jrd tata was the chairman but as it happens with government um, uh, jobs and government inf infrastructure government companies people become uh, you know start uh, don't pro uh, give that kind of an output so this has been now uh, denationalized it's gone back to tatas and i'm sure tatas will convert it back to a world class airline 
So I am looking forward to a great time flying with Air India again, where we will have the world class service, world class timings, and one of the best airlines in the world. So that is a good news. The lesson in this is first, government should not be in the business of business. Government's rule, government's job is to govern, collect tax, and govern the nation. So government is getting out of business. Good news. The other thing is that probably this is the start of privatization. So more and more private players must come into such actions where which will give a boost to our economy. So this is a wonderful news. So this was news you can use. Thank you very much. I'm sure you found it useful.